This bag of grains, uh, along with some water, yeast and hops, is going to be a beer and in seven days I am going to be trying it on my tasting set. I'm going to be putting out a video every day documenting the process to go from grain to glass and just in case a week-long video series about a beer fermenting is not sufficient I'm also going to be showing off some very cool beer gadgets that I have around the house from big to small. So join me every day this week as I brew a damp beer. Now, damp beer, when literally translated from German, means steam beer. And steam beer usually means that you're taking a yeast and fermenting it at a warmer temperature than usual. And I've brewed a steam beer before. I brewed a California Common. I do want to say um, when I poured it, the head retention was amazing. The thing with California Common was I used lager yeast, but fermented warm. Now, this steam beer doesn't use lager yeast, it uses vice beer yeast, wheat beer yeast, um, but you again, you ferment this warm. I'm gonna ferment this above 21 Celsius or 70 Fahrenheit. And by doing that, well, firstly, the beer will probably ferment quicker, it'll be ready quicker. And secondly, just by fermenting that yeast a little bit warmer, you'll get a bit of a phenolic aftertaste in the beer, which is what I'm going for with this. In terms of what's in the grist, well, 69% of this is German Pilsner malt, and then 32% is light Munich malt. Looking for original gravity around 10.49, uh, so around about a 5% beer. Now, like many German beer stars, this one is lightly hopped, and yeah, this does originate in the Bavarian forests. So. I'm using just a bittering hop for this. This is Hallertau Mittelfro, and I'm putting this in to get 16 IBU of bitterness in at the start of the boil. Now, when it comes to measuring gravity, I don't do a whole lot of tracking. I typically will measure my gravity at the end of brew day, that's the original gravity, and I'll take a measurement when I'm packaging, and that's my final gravity, and that's how I figure out the alcohol percentage, but that's it. But for today's beer, I really want to be tracking much more closely. I'm intending to take a gravity sample every day so I can tell exactly when the beer is done, when it's finished fermenting and when I can move on to the cold crash. So this is a perfect chance to crack open the Easy Dens from Anton Parr, which is a digital density meter. And this provides very accurate readings, or so I'm told, and I'm, I'm gonna be taking readings with this every day. Uh, the other advantage apart from accuracy is it needs only a very tiny sample to work. So rather than using a typical hydrometer where I'm filling up a tube like like uh, like this guy, it's, um, it's gonna be a lot of work if I'm taking that much out every day just to get a sample. Now before I can use it, I need to calibrate it. I have downloaded the app on my phone and then I need to get some distilled water and just run this through here and check that I get a reading of 1.000, 1.000. And it just used a really tiny amount. Now the app does the, have the ability to save to batch as well. So if I go to batches here, I'm gonna create a new batch and I'm gonna put in my name. And I'm gonna add my measurements to this damp beer throughout the week. transferred the wort into my fermenter now after chilling it down and uh, got a new jacket for my CF5, pretty sharp. So now it's time to take a gravity reading. That's plenty, uh, let's take a reading. So I got 10.52 and that's the temperature adjusted value as well, so that's nice, I don't have to convert that. So I'm gonna save that to my damp beer batch. Now for yeast. I'm using WLP380 Hefeweizen Ale 4 yeast. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna ferment this a little warm. So it recommends going up to around 70 Fahrenheit for this yeast. I'm gonna push that just a little bit above that to 72 Fahrenheit or 22 Celsius. And to give the yeast a chance to get going nice and quick, I have done something I very rarely do, which is make a starter. So I had this on the stir plate overnight, 
and when I woke up this morning and took a look, well now it's nice and milky and ready to go. So let's add this in and let the fermentation begin. Come back tomorrow, we will check in on this beer and I want to show you something that I have wanted for years that is now proudly in my basement. See you then.